this is the full section of the trig identities in equations chapter and here we're going to be looking at solving simple uh, trig equations now uh, this first bit up here basically just says that when you solve these simple equations um, when it's sine or cos this value here can only ever be, be be between one and negative one so for example this will have a solution um, yeah that's fine but something like this won't have a solution yeah or something like this will have a solution that's fine but something like this won't have a solution yeah so that value needs to be between one and negative one whereas for tan that value can be any number so you know whether it's solving this or this or this yeah they're all fine they all have solutions now the way that we solve these uh these trig equations the first thing that we need to do is we find the first solution on our calculator what we call a principal solution so step number one find the principal okay that just basically means first principal solution on your calculator okay and you'll do that by doing either sine inverse or cos inverse or tan inverse and then after that you use the cast diagram use the cast diagram to find any other solutions okay they're, they're basically last steps and you you'll be told basically what range um, you're going to use to, to find your solution so do you just go between 0 and 360 degrees from negative 180 to plus 180 you'll be told how many solutions um, um, not to write down but in what range to have your solutions because these trig equations have an infinite number of solutions yeah and we, we're just going to be picking a few of them and writing them down okay so it says find the solutions to this equation and this is the interval we need to look for our solutions just between 0 and 360 degree so when we do our cast diagram that's the only bit we're going to be looking at between 0 and 360 so we're not going to go backwards to any negative answers and we're not going to go around any further than 360 right so first thing is we find what we call the principal solution and we get that by doing our principal solution of sine theta equals a half yeah we get that by doing the sine inverse of a half and i've done that and i get 30 degrees okay so that's one solution there are or there could be other solutions so the way we do that is we draw our cast diagram c a s t we draw 30 degrees on like this and remember we do this cross here so we found 30 degrees in our calculator and all of these are 30 as well yeah now how do we find any other solutions well the first solution that we found was in this part of the cast diagram yeah 
Now in this part of the class diagram, I'm solving an equation for sine. In this part of the class diagram, sine is positive. In fact, they're all positive. Everything is positive. All positive. All positive. Which actually means that sine is positive. So where else am I going to find sine is positive in my class diagram? Over here. So the other angle solution is going to be this one. Now I can see this is 180 and I take away 30 to find 150. So my other solution, so I've already got one solution, I've got theta is 30. The other solution is going to be 180 minus 30 from the class diagram because these are the places where sine is positive so you always look to see where your principal solution lands and that will help you work out whether uh, what you're doing what you need to um, look for is either where it's positive or negative and our principal solution landed where sign was positive we want to find the other places where sign is positive now some people when they do these questions they solve it they don't use a cast diagram they just draw the graph they draw a graph of sine between uh, 0 and 360, like this. And they say, right, my first solution is a half, which is maybe there. Okay, and they use the graph to, to solve it. And they say, right, my calculator is giving me this one, 30 degrees. Now, because all of this graph of sine and cos are all symmetrical, then if this is a gap of 30 degrees, then the other place where I'm going to find a solution over here, then this is also a gap of 30 degrees, so you can get 150 from the graph. Yeah, and you'll see that basically the other bit of the graph is down at the bottom, down here. So on our cast diagram, that's down here. Yeah, so that's why it's negative. So you have got the option, if you prefer, to draw a graph and use the graph to help you to find the solutions rather than using a cast diagram. Okay, so this question here, we have the interval 0 to 360, and this is the equation we're trying to solve. And sometimes you need to rearrange it first. So we've got five sine x is negative two. So we'll divide both sides by five and we'll get sine x equals negative two fifths so we find the principal solution the first solution by using our calculator and that's going to be the sine inverse of negative two fifths so let's do that uh, remember these solutions don't aren't necessarily um, whole number values so sine inverse negative two fifths um, but when we do write our um, our answers if they are decimal answers then you, you normally would give your decimal answers to one decimal place so that gives me negative 23 point i'll write it all down and then i want to round it so negative 23.5781 like that. So I'm going to give it to one decimal place. Normally we give these angle answers one decimal place. Like this. So now I use my cast diagram or a sketch of sine to find the other solutions. So 0, 90, 180, now this first solution that I've got is down here. That's negative 23.6. So that's actually 23.6 there. Then we draw the cross. And all of these are 23.6. Well, I need to one decimal place anyway. Now our first solution landed in this part of the cast diagram where cos is positive, 
But in this part of the class diagram, because we're solving an equation for sine, what's the sine of sine here? Sine is negative in this part of the class diagram. So we want to look for the other parts of the class diagram where sine is negative, and that's going to be over here. This is the other part of the class diagram where sine is negative. So I can use that to find my other solution. And that's going to be 180 plus this 23.6. So I've got one solution. Um, it's negative 23.6. Now we're going to have to change that because the answers need to be between 0 and 360. So actually what we need to work out is what's this angle here. So negative 23.6 is the same as 360 minus 23.6. So let's write these down. So I've got this other solution as 180 plus 23.6 in that part where I've got T on the cast diagram and another solution, which is going to be 360 minus 23.6 because that's equivalent to the negative 23.6. So my final answers, so at 180 plus 23.6, so 203.6, and the other one will be 360 minus 23.6, so that's 336.6. 4 degrees. So those are my two solutions. So again, calculator to give me the first solution, then the cast diagram to find the others. And also in this particular case, my principal solution wasn't in the range. It gave me 23.6. I converted it to the positive equivalent again by using the cast diagram. OK, so this question is slightly different in that it gives us a student's working and we need to identify the mistake in their working. Um, often what I find useful is basically to work through the question myself until I, I see the mistake because you may not necessarily spot it uh, correct in the question. So the first thing I'm going to do is to work out the cos inverse of root 3 over 2. Uh, just to make sure that that's been worked out correctly. I suspect it is. OK, so that first part of the working is correct. Yeah. Now, what would I do after that? I would use a cast diagram. To work out the other solutions. So 0, 90, 180, 270. So my first solution has landed here in the, in what we call the first quadrant. And these are all 30 here. Put this. C A S T. So my solution landed um, here, or the first solution was here, where everything is positive. Where else am I going to find? Um, cos to be positive down here. So these are the two places where cos is positive. Cos positive. Cos positive. Now, so find a second solution. They should have done 360 minus 30. So part A, the error, so the student. Should have done uh, 360 minus 30, not 180 minus 30. Yeah, now why have they done 180 minus 30? Um, they've chosen the wrong quadrant where sine is positive. So the correct answer, well, it's just going to be whatever, 3. 60 minus 30 is, which is 330 degrees.
So that should have been um, their correct solution. And of course the 30 that they originally got as well, their principal solution. Right, find the values of theta in the interval 0 to 360 that satisfy this equation here. Right, first thing, let's write this down, sine theta equals root 3 cos theta. So we can't solve trig equations with more than one type of trig in it unless it's something that we can factorize. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by cos theta. So we'll get sine theta over cos theta. So you'll recognize that, hopefully, is root 3. So that gives, gives us tan theta equals root 3. Principal solution from our calculator by doing the um, tan inverse of root 3 and if we do that tan inverse square root 3 and we get 60 degrees as our principal solution we now use the cast diagram to find any other solutions 0, 90, 180, 270, C, A, S, T and we have 60 degrees so 60 degrees our principal solution is here let's keep that in mind we'll put in all the other 60s here and between 0 and 360 um, well, the principal solution landed in an area where tan is positive, they're all positive. So where else is tan positive? Over here. So let's highlight that. This is the other place I'm going to find the solution. And that's going to be 180 plus 60. So values of theta are 60 and 180 plus 60. So final solution, 60 and 240 as my solutions. Okay, you should now be able to do exercise 10D on pages 215 to 216. Remember when you're doing these questions, uh, find a principal solution. So use the uh, trig inverse to find the principal solution, so that's basically the first solution, and then once you've got the principal solution, the second thing that you do is use a cast diagram to find any other solutions, find any other solutions.